Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to edit a radio show. Very easy to do and um, for this video we're going to be using Adobe Audition. This is a tool which you can purchase as part of Adobe's Creative Cloud. This uh, software has been a staple of radio studios really for 15 years or so. Up until about 10 years ago it was known as something called Cool Edit Pro and you still see this being used as well on a lot of older radio studios. Um, basically the principles have remain the same. I've been using this since about 2003 and it's really straightforward to pick up and it's very very useful to learn. Um, any radio station you go into as a radio presenter or as a radio producer they'll expect you to know how to use this software. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new multi-track session and um, we'll just call this show one and we'll click OK and this will bring up the multi-track editor. As you can see here there's lots of different layers and basically what these are uh, just different tracks. So for, for example in this tutorial we're going to put our music on the top layer here we'll call that music. We're going to add jingles or uh, sweepers whatever you want to call them to the next layer and then finally we're going to add we're going to add a voice track. I'm going to record um, a sample of me speaking to go in between two different tracks and that's pretty much how at a basic level you'd structure a radio show. As you can see here you can really have as many different tracks as you want so to import a file it's really easy you just drag and drop it either into this side menu where you can kind of bank it for later or you can even just drag it directly onto one of the multi-track items. Um, I'm going to import a couple of songs and also uh, we'll import a jingle as well. I'll just show you you can also drag this directly onto your timeline and the great thing about Audition is it will convert any file um, so it doesn't matter what file you put in in what format if it's an mp3 an m4a a wav file it will automatically convert it to a unified format for whatever project you're working on which is really great and very handy so first of all let's play uh, the Beatles which I sort of as I said I banked it for later so we'll have the Beatles going in to start off with as you can see it's converting these files and this other song will move it further down the timeline because we don't want the fur later so the Beatles will play, this is the beginning of my show, say for example, the first three minutes or however long, couple of minutes long, we will hear uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And what we will do is we want to play this jingle, which I've added, straight after. Then what I'm going to do is record a voice track, speak for a little bit, and then we'll play this second song. And we want it to sound really swish, so we want it to be no gaps, nicely faded between items and edited together really tightly, so to speak. And this is straightforward to do, you know, it's not hard at all. And the first thing we're going to look at is the ending of this first track. And you can hear there, the beat, this Beatles album is like kind of screaming, clapping at the end. Well, we don't want that, it doesn't really, it's not really very, very radio friendly, uh, so we're going to remove that. Now how I'm going to do that, you can, well there's a couple of ways you can do it actually, you can either just drag the end and you can see here that will actually just, uh, when the little red mark comes up you can actually just trim the song however you want. You can also use this crossfade which will fade it out. You can change the curvature, this is a visual representation of the volume, okay, so it will start at 100% and it will fade down to zero. And we can chop the end of the track off by doing a sort of fade like that which basically will dip down. Okay, and as it dips down, we then want this jingle to play over the top of it. But we want the jingle to start playing before the song is completely finished. So we'll just position this around about there. And you can do this by eye, really visually, when you get the hang of how these waveforms look. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Download the nqr.fm app now. Find us in the iPhone and Android app stores. This is nqr.fm. Cool. Um, let's listen again. So I want this actually, now I've listened back, to just come in just before it fades off a little bit too much right now. Uh, so we'll just nudge that up a bit and have a listen again. Download the Perfect, I'm happy with that. Alright, so now we've got another song which is lined up here. Um, but before that starts playing I want to record me speaking and you know, talking between the two songs. So what we're going to do for that is go back to waveform and we need to create a new waveform. So click new audio file and that basically creates a new audio file. Now I can press the record button at the bottom 
That was Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by The Beatles. I can't believe that track's 50 years old, but it still sounds great. You're listening to NQR. My name's James. Hope your day is going well. Here's another great song, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret after this. Okay, so um, that's my voice track. You know, that was the first thing that came to mind. Um, The good thing about this is if you make a mistake, obviously you can re-record and you can chop off bits at the beginning and bits at the end, and I'll show you how to do that now. It's basically just a case of clicking and dragging your mouse. So you can see at the beginning, this is where I cleared my throat, throat) which I don't want to be broadcast. We're going to remove that by selecting and just hitting delete on your keyboard. And likewise at the end, okay, that was when I just started speaking to you again. So we don't want that either. We will delete that. So as a result, I've got one nice, cleanly edited link which I can add between the songs. That was Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Right, I'm happy with that. Right click on this, insert into multi-track, and then I'll select the show which I created. Here we go. Now I will add this onto my voice uh, track thing. You can even change the colour of these, you see, as well. So let's say we'll make the voice track yellow, just so I've got three clear clear colours here to distinguish between the music layer, the jingles layer, and then me. And I might want to have another layer where I have background music or anything else, adverts, that kind of thing. And like before, we're going to just we're going to uh, jiggle these around so it sounds. Nqr.fm. Nqr.fm. That was Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club back. I think again what I'm going to do there is just fade this jingle out slightly and just drag me up slightly so I will start speaking as it fades out. This is NQR.FM. That was Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band by the Beatles. I can't believe... Okay, that happy with that. Uh, jingle starts fading out. I start speaking just ever so slightly before the end. And this is what you want. You want to create a seamless experience for your listeners. When they're listening, they shouldn't hear any gaps. They shouldn't hear any nasty levels and... That's all, getting your levels right, that's another tutorial, so we won't go over that today. But this stuff is all pretty much ready for broadcast anyway. So now what I want to do is cue this next track up. Now I can see visually here, and if I zoom in slightly, you'll see this even clearer. Um, There's obviously a clear difference in the volume between this beginning bit and here is where the beat drops, so to speak. So what I want to do is, it's quite common in radio to speak right up to where the vocals start on a track, but you should never crash the vocals in Radio Land. That's what they always say. So I'm going to move that. So just as I finish talking, the beat kicks in. So we'll have this nice intro to the track behind what I'm saying. The thing is with this, it is slightly loud. Um, This yellow thing is the volume and you can drag this up and down if you wish to adjust the volume of an individual element within the multi-track. If I double click on here it adds a little blue dot and what that is is a, a marker that I can, I can kind of adjust the volume so I can add as many of these in as I want so if I want the music to dip in it and out at different points I can do so. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just that's perfect. This crossfade is great for the beginning of a track but if you want to create a crossfade halfway down the track, as I'm doing here, because I want this intro to start slightly quieter, because I don't want it to drown out what I'm saying. However, as soon as this beat kicks in, I want the volume of the track to return to 100%. And what we're going to do is just tighten that up so literally, you know, as soon as I finish speaking, boom, the music will hit. So let's just preview that now. Um, Obviously, I haven't listened back to this, so we might need to edit it further, but... As you get practice and you become more competent with doing this, you'll find you need to preview things and listen back time and time again, less and less and less. So here we go. You're listening to NQR. My name's James. Hope your day is going well. Here's another great song, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret after this. Cool, I'm really happy with that. So that's perfect. So that concludes this tutorial. I really wanted to show you some basic uh, tools and the principles of how you go about creating a radio show or a podcast using Adobe Audition. Now, the great thing about this is your listeners won't know if this is live or pre-recorded because let's say you record uh, or produce a show which is now along using Adobe Audition. Then all you've got to do is you click File, Export, uh, Multi-Track, Mix Down, Entire Session, and what will this will do is it will then create an MP3 file of everything all mixed together, including all the different adjustments you've made and volumes. So you'll just get an MP3, which effectively is your radio show. And then you upload it onto radio.co. You can schedule it. Let's say it's an hour long. 
add the item to a playlist, schedule it to go out at 4pm or whenever the show might be broadcast, and your listeners won't know any different. To them, this sounds like it's live radio and there's a DJ sat there when what you could actually do is you could pre-record as much content as you want, upload it to the system, and you don't have to be there, which is awesome. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you haven't checked it out, Radio Co. is an awesome way to start your own internet radio station. You can get a free seven-day trial. And we've also got lots of great videos just like this one, which help you in the area of broadcasting live radio and all this kind of stuff. Plus, also, we have a team of experts on hand to answer any questions. So if you've got any, email studio at radio.co. Thanks very much for watching. Broadcast your station 24-7, radio.co. Making radio